Hi everyone, I'm Zhu Kuanchang from the University of Tokyo. Today, I will talk about the project on behalf of the co-authors. The project Kirigami Haptic Swatches are design methods for cut and fold haptic feedback mechanisms. Many of the everyday haptic interactions with the physical and digital world are largely mediated through the simple push button. From early electronics lab prototypes all the way to the polished off-the-shelf consumer products, the fourth characteristics of the physical button play an important role in defining our haptic experience with our environment. Physical buttons can potentially provide more sophisticated haptic feedback during their travel range, which is commonly described in the form of force displacement curves. The haptic properties of a physical button are determined by its mechanical structure and material. However, off-the-shelf buttons have their force displacement curves fixed during fabrication and only exist in standardized packages with standardized mechanical characteristics. And also, there is no accessible method to design the haptic feedback systematically. As a result, engineers and designers are typically limited to designing haptic interactions that fall within the parameters of these predetermined mass manufactured electronic components. They often need to examine many different sample buttons in order to find one that achieves approximately their desired effect. Our research goal is to build simple haptic design methods with controllable force displacement properties for sophisticated haptic feedback. Enabling designer without engineering backgrounds to design haptic, feed, uh, haptic feedback characteristics by controlling desired button parameters themselves. And also, it should be able to be fabricated easily using accessible materials and maker-friendly tools. Our solution is inspired by Kiligami and Origami, the cut and fold techniques. As we all know, Origami is the art of making 2D and 3D shapes by folding paper. And Kiligami is an extended method of Origami by allowing cuts in addition to folds. For Kiligami and Origami structure, Apart from the commonly known properties like reversible shape, shape deformation and enabling 3D structures made from 2D sheets, another interesting point is the force behaviors of the structure caused by the geometry and shape transformation. Those three points make this technique as a good solution to our research goals. Our research presents an approach to easily design and fabricate buttons with customizable haptic feedback based on common Kiligami and Origami primitives. Kiligami haptic swatches are comprised of four Kiligami and Origami primitives for haptic feedback. First, Rotational Erection System. RES is called for short. It has a linear property. As you push or release the structure, it moves accordingly without a click. Split fold water bomb has a bicycle property. If you apply more force than a certain threshold, the structure suddenly buckles, resulting in a clicking feeling and does not bounce back even after releasing the applied force. The overlaid structure of split fold water bomb and RES has a mono snap through property that generates a click like a split fold water bomb but bounces back with another click if the user releases the applied force. Finally, cylindrical origami shows by stability like split fold water bomb. The difference between the cylindrical origami versus all the other primitives is that the structure exhibits angular rotation when the force is applied. We experimentally analyzed and, ma and mathematically molded the structures derived the force geometry equations for each pattern. In each structure, not only the form factors like the diameter, maximum, button height, but also the force feed face feedback properties like maximum reaction force can be tuned through the geometric
parameters. For more detailed equations and experiment setup, please refer to our paper. As you can see, in each primitives, the changing of the geometry of the 2D patterns results in variations of the form factors of 3D buttons and the rendered haptic profiles. This is RES, split fold water bomb, uh, the overlaid structure of split fold water bomb and RES. This is cylindrical origami. For the durability of the structures, we did a fertile test of each primitives with 100 times loading unloading cycles. The tests show the relatively good mechanical durabilities of the structure as you can see from the um, diagrams. To make the Kiligami haptic swatches accessible to creators, we made a plugin software that generates customer cut and fold patterns for buttons based on the user's desired haptic feedback properties, called the Pattern Generator. Based on Grasshopper, it allows users to choose among the four primitive structures. For each primitive structure selection, user can input the form factor variables of the button, like diameter, key press traveling distance, and the software will calculate the maximum reaction force. Likewise, users can also input the desired maximum reaction force and the software will generate the corresponding ge geometric parameters. We also have web UI based on ShapeDiver for those who don't use Grasshopper. Attach to the link on the bottom right corner. Fabrication. Once the desired design is completed, the user can download and output the 2D Kiligami pattern in a standard 2D file format such as AI, DXF, or DWG and transfer this to a laser cutter or cutting plotter for digital fabrication and then fold it. We explore a variety of scenarios that use our customer Kiligami buttons by attaching RES buttons to the inkjet printed paper circuit, we created several types of Kiligami keyboard. This is Emoji keyboard, a full keyboard with Kasma distribution, and a keyboard for mathematicians who frequently use Greek letters. The user is able to customize the haptic experience to match each emotion or function. The rotational switch is a four-step dial built with a four-unit cylindrical origami switch, which is combined with a proximity sensor to measure the length of the cylinder. The physical rotational motion controls a virtual dial on the display. The tangible aspects of the Kiligami buttons allow designers to play with the motion of the buttons as part of the interaction, adding a proprioceptive dimension to the design space. The, mo the multi-sensory toy has different sets of haptic feedback buttons on its surface. It aims to help young children who are developing their sense of touch by providing diverse types of physical touch stimulation and click sounds. It also could be used in rehabilitation context potentially. The tangible and interactive task checklist was designed with split fold water bomb buttons. When users completed the tasks, they press the Kiligami buttons. Pressed buttons do not return to their original positions and remain pressed, signaling the completion of the task of all the day. The small hands-on play and key-click feedback provides users a satisfying interactive experience to mark moments of the completion in their daily routine. Kiligami phone accessory is a therapeutic tool to help people 
are addicted to smartphones by helping them stay away from using their devices. By making the smartphone an interactive haptic device where physical interaction is decoupled from its digital content, the haptic functionality can help distract users from addiction as well as reduce stress and tension by physically stimulating the hand as a substitute for phone usage. There are also some limitations. First, manual assembly. Even though the Folding itself is relatively simple. If designer wanted to scale up the number of buttons, the manual as assembly process quickly becomes tedious and limiting. Second, fabrication methods and consistency. Fabrication methods also have some influences on the haptic feedback. In order to increase consistency between buttons, we could explore creating secondary tools uh, such as folding tools. Third, the, in this paper, we have largely focused on geometric parameters for tuning force feedback of buttons. However, uh, material properties um, greatly influence the force feedback. We could further explore more materials to extend our database of pattern generator. Last, the geometry, uh, geometric models presented in this paper are all central symmetric. We could also explore more complex geometries, further expand the Kiligami haptic swatches. Although origami and Kiligami is recently drawing attention in and applied to the field of HCI, the false behavior caused by shape transformation is underexplored. Uh, there is lots of potential. It can be applied not only to haptic feedback, but also to many other fields. To conclude, we exploited four types of Kiligami and Origami button primitives that enable four types of haptic feedback profiles. We experimentally analyzed and mathematically molded the force feedback of the four mechanisms, derived the force geometry equations for each pattern. We created customer software for generating cut and fold patterns based on desired form and force inputs of buttons. Finally, we shared some example applications of how these Kiligami and Origami buttons can be utilized to create interactions that enrich our haptic experience. We envision our Kiligami haptic swatches to be a useful tool that enables designers and engineers to quickly design and build interactive devices based on their unique needs. Thank you.